It's been a while since I've done a battle video, and funny enough, it was the littlest Wii viewer who suggested this one just offhand. I was on the fence if I should even review either of these games, since I've already done a quasi review for them already in my Let's Play of each one of them. And the littlest Wii viewer said, why not put them up together to see which one was better? And I told him, hey, why not? Sounds like fun. If you've never heard of any of these games before, simply put, they're both fireplace simulators. Fireplacing came out first, and for some reason the creators thought there was just a huge market for fireplace simulators. So Cozy Fire came out two months later. I have to assume the creators of Cozy Fire were just cursing at the creators of Fireplace for getting a jump on the Fireplace simulating market for the Wii first. Although the joke is kind of on me since I paid for both of these games. So these are the five categories I came up with for this battle. Realism, Control, Options, Fun Factor, and just because you guys love it so much, Sex Appeal. Like always, there will only be one winner in each category, and there will be no ties. At the end of the video, the one with the most points wins the battle. Remember guys, this is just for fun, so don't freak out if your favorite fireplace simulator doesn't win. Now I'm sure there's quite a few people out there who have never played these games. So just so you know, this is Cozy Fire, and this is fireplacing. All right, now that you got that down, here we go. Realism. Fireplacing and Cozy Fire look all right. They both do an okay job of what a fire might look like, but the fire effects are not the same though. In manual mode in fireplacing, the sound effects are not synced to the actual fire. And in Cozy Fire, the logs will light up on fire so quick, you'll think it was doused in lighter fluid. So they were both unrealistic in their own ways. However, I must pick one, and I pick Cozy Fire. Because even though the logs will light on fire really quick, they'll burn at a normal pace. Unlike fireplacing, which just kind of take forever to burn. Control. Both games give you the option of basically walking away from the fire. So you could use it as a background to a holiday party. But when it comes to individual control, Cozy Fire lets you put logs on the fire anytime you want. Unlike fireplacing, which is way more rigid on when you can add a log. While the lighting of the fire is way better and immersive in fireplacing, I like the more control I have in Cozy Fire. Because you can add a log or change the logs that you have in the fire anytime you want. And I really like that. Options. Unlike the other two categories, this one was an easy win for Cozy Fire. Fireplacing only has three backgrounds and no additional options other than zooming out for no reason other than seeing the fire from a different angle. Cozy Fire has multiple location settings and many different kinds of logs to choose from. It felt like more than just a lazy made screensaver, as the creators actually gave us some options on how we wanted the fire to look. Fun Factor there really is only one fun thing to do in fireplacing, and I use the word fun lightly. That's lighting the fire by putting a pine cone down, setting it on fire, stoking the flame to make the logs go ablaze. Cozy fire is different though. I've already talked about how you can mold the logs in the way you want. In fact, you can overload your fireplace and make the logs explode all over the place. It was a very cool addition that you could do at any time. Lighting the fire might be an interesting thing to do in fireplacing, but it's very restrictive when you could do it. And let's face it, seeing fireplace logs explode on the screen it's just more fun to see. So I'm gonna have to give this one to Cozy Fire. Sex Appeal! So I'm gonna have to decide which one I found more sexy. There are more backgrounds in Cozy Fire. There was really none that I would say oozes romance. Maybe the outside background, but that feels more like we're going camping. Fireplacing actually has a background setting called Romantic, and I have to admit, it was pretty nice at setting the mood. So I'm gonna give this one to Fireplacing, even though it's only slightly better than Cozy Fire. The winner is... Cozy Fire! It almost swept the whole thing. Fireplacing is pretty bad. It's the most basic kind of release of a simulator. But at least Cozy Fire put a little bit of effort into the title. Now they're both 500 Wii points. And if you absolutely need a fireplace simulator, and you don't have a TV station which will do it for free during the holidays, then you'll be more satisfied with Cozy Fire. 